Hi guys, this is Teacher Jess, and this is our first art lesson video. Um, so, um, we are going to be doing um, a lesson about um, gradients, um, which means that we are going to be using the same color, but a gradient means how dark or light that color is. So we are going to be using um, an ice cream cone as our topic and experimenting with um, different tones of the same color, um, lighter to darker. Um, so what you will need for this activity is you'll need a piece of blank paper. Um, you um, can do this activity. I'm going to be using paints. I'm going to be using just tempera paints. If you have um, poster paints or craft paint, that will work as well. Um, if you don't have paint, that's okay. You could try to do this with watercolor, um, but that might be a little bit tricky. Um, but you can use crayon or colored pencils for this as well. Um, so um, you'll also maybe want, a, you'll definitely want a pencil and maybe a marker um, or a black Sharpie as well. I will be using a black Sharpie. So um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and draw in um, the outline for our ice cream. I, um, when I, whenever I'm doing art, I try to fill up most of the page because um, white space um, is kind of boring for our eyes. And so it's nice when we're working with a, a big piece of paper. There are times when we want to do small little drawings and cut them out, and that's fine too. But when we're using a nice big piece of paper like this, we're going to work to really try to fill most of the paper with our art, not have a whole lot of white space. Um, so I am going to go ahead and start by drawing the base of my ice cream um, and starting with just the ice cream cone. I'm going to be using black marker so that it can show up on the camera, but you will probably want to start with um, pencil. Um, if you have to erase and try things a couple of times, that's okay because um, pencils will erase and, um, and you're also going to be covering over it with your color anyway. So I'm going to start with just kind of a nice, long, skinny triangle. But I'm not going to connect the two pieces. So I have my upside down triangle where it's meeting with the point at the bottom and, um, and my nice long lines. And notice that just in terms of my page, my cone is taking up quite a bit of my page already. So I want to leave myself some room at the top, but my cone is actually pretty big. So I'm not drawing an itty bitty cone. I'm drawing a nice big cone, almost like I could just reach it, and that would be like a regular size ice cream cone, right? So now that I have my ice cream cone, I'm going to start adding ice cream on top of it. So when you scoop ice cream onto a cone, you have the first scoop, but it's not rounded on the top, right, because you're going to add another scoop on top of it. And sometimes when we scoop it, it gets that kind of nice little, like, frilly bottom to it. So I'm going to start with my kind of frilly bottom by doing these kind of curvy lines. And what's really nice about this project is that they don't have to be straight. They don't have to be perfect. They don't have to look exactly the same because that what, that's what makes it look kind of more realistic anyway. It's like ice cream isn't perfect at the bottom. So it's okay if you have one side that's a little longer and the other side's a little shorter. So after you've drawn your kind of curvy line at the bottom, you want to kind of bring it up and you want to make it look a little bit rounded like an ice cream scoop. But then we're going to stop just a little ways up because then we're going to put another scoop on top of it. So once again, I'm going to start with kind of my frilly line. And then I'm going to do the same thing where I kind of do some curved lines just up from my frilly bottom. So I have one scoop and a second scoop on top, but I haven't curved the top because I want to do another scoop now. I'm going to do the same thing where I have my 
curvy line. And I'm going to bring it up a little bit. And so notice I am starting to, to get towards the top of my page. So I started at the bottom with my ice cream cone, and now I'm starting to get towards the top. So this last scoop is going to be the one that we actually complete the top of. So I'm going to start with my curvy, wavy line again. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring the line up and curve it over. So that it looks kind of like a bell on the top. And that's where my ice cream, my top scoop is. So my ice cream cone has one, two, three, four scoops on top of the cone. Now if you want to, you can also add some detail to your cone with your pen by drawing some diagonal lines to make it kind of like a waffle cone. So diagonal lines going one way, and then you'll kind of cross those lines going the other way all the way down to the bottom there. Okay, so now I have my nice waffly cone and my one, two, three, four scoops of ice cream. So I'm going to put my marker away now. And now I have, I'm going to bring my camera down a little bit to show you my paints. So I have picked, um, I have chosen to make my ice cream the color purple. Um, so maybe it's like a blackberry swirl ice cream or maybe it's a blueberry pie flavored ice cream, who knows. Um, uh, you can choose whatever color you want, but you're going to choose the same color for each of the ice cream scoops. So, um, so I, I chose purple as my color. I also have some white paint here and just a little bit of brown paint. So I'm going to go ahead and tilt my camera up again. And I'm going to start with the brown. And I'm going to go over and kind of paint in between those triangle lines. If you go a little bit over them, that's okay. Now you may be able to see, it looks like you kind of can't see, but it, I'm covering up some of the lines. But if I don't use a whole lot of paint, you can still kind of see the lines through the paint. So if you don't use a whole lot of paint, or if you use crayons, you can still see the marker lines underneath your paint. I'm going to go all the way down and try and fill in that area. And then I'm going to go all the way up to my wavy line up here. And again, if you go a little bit over the lines, that's okay. But try to be careful with it. That's why crayons and colored pencils are a great option for this too because you can get really nice and detailed with those. Okay, so now I have my ice cream cone painted in. I'm going to go ahead and rinse my brush out because I'm going to change colors. And now for this first scoop of ice cream, I'm going to use the most intense color. So I'm just, because I chose purple, I'm just going to go ahead and start with that purple, and I'm not going to put any white in it. So it's just going to be that straight, really vibrant purple color. And my purple paint has been in the storeroom closet for a while, so it kind of is looking maybe a little watery. If you go a little bit over into the one above, that's okay. Try to be careful around your brown sections so that you don't mix in brown with your nice purple colored ice cream if you chose to do purple like I did. 
Okay, and I'm gonna add a little bit more because I want it to be a really nice, rich purple, and this is kind of a diluted purple. So I'm just gonna kind of go over with another coat. Try to make it a little bit more purpley. Okay, so that's starting to look a little bit brighter purple. And like I said, this paint is pretty old, so that may end up being as good as I can get. Okay, so that's my first layer of ice cream is um, a really nice undiluted um, purple paint color. So if you are using paint, you would use just the, um, just the paint color and not add any white to it. Now, if you're using crayons or colored pencils, for this first ice cream scoop, you're gonna press really hard with your pencil or your crayon, and you're gonna color it really dark. So the first ice cream scoop is going to be that really nice, intense um, color, uh, whichever color you end up choosing. Now, remember, we're gonna use the same color for all scoops of ice cream, but they're going to start getting lighter. So if you're using paint, I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of my purple. Actually, I'm going to take a fair amount of my purple. I'm going to rinse my brush. And then I'm going to get some of this white. And I'm going to add just a little bit of white to my purple. Maybe a little bit more to make it just a little bit lighter than it was. Okay, see that? See how, I, oh, sorry, I wasn't on the screen. So I added just a little bit of white to the purple to make it a light purple. Okay. I'm gonna pause for this. Okay. I had to pause for just a second because as I was showing you the paint, I ended up spilling a little bit of paint on my computer. Ooh. Okay, so now I have my slightly lighter purple. So I've added a little bit of white to it and I'm gonna paint that on the next ice cream scoop right up here. So you can see that it's still pretty purple but it's definitely a lighter shade of purple than it was. Okay. Okay. That looks pretty good. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take that same purple that I mixed the white into there we go but I'm gonna add a little bit more white to it this time so I'm gonna make it even lighter I'm not gonna add any more purple to it I'm just gonna start adding white to it mix it around so if you are doing this with crayons or colored pencils your next one your next ice cream scoop, you would color over just a little bit lighter than your first one. So trying to get it so that your colors are getting a little bit lighter each time. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start painting in. Actually, I'm gonna add a little teeny bit more white first. All right, there we go nice and light okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and go on my third scoop and paint in my even slightly lighter purple And that one, I'm gonna 
go over it one more time so that because it's not really reading as very purpley on the computer camera. I'm just going to go over it with my paint one more time to make it just a little bit darker purple than it was. There we go. Now you can kind of see that. Again, if you are using crayons or colored pencils for that third scoop, you're going to do an even lighter um, coloring of that. And then for this last one, I'm going to add a lot of white. So this is going to be our lightest um, our lightest scoop. If you're using crayons or colored pencils, then you will want to use your lightest touch. So with paint, I'm adding white to make my tone lighter. If you're using crayons or colored pencils, you would be using the pressure to create a more intense or less intense color. So I've got my really, really light purple in here now. And I'm going to go ahead and fill in all of that top space. And you can see on the camera that it almost isn't even showing up as purple. It's so light. Once your ice cream is all filled in, I'm going to go ahead and bring my camera in a little bit so you can see the finished ice cream cone and how it goes from a really intense purple to a slightly lighter purple, lighter to the very lightest purple. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and add some details like you could add sprinkles. Um, to your ice cream with some, um, if you have other colors of paint, you could do just a little dot to create sprinkles. Um, you could add a cherry on top if you wanted to. I kind of like my ice cream plain, so I just left it plain, and I also wanted to show you guys um, just the color gradient that we are working on. But, like I said, if you wanted to get really creative with it, you could decorate your ice cream um, to suit your personal taste. The last touch, as with any artwork, is to make sure that you sign it. So I'm going to go ahead and sign down here at the bottom. Teacher Jess. And Teacher Erin and I would love to see what you guys come up with, whether you use crayons or colored pencils or paint. Um, we would love to see your finished results. Um, and we would love even more to display them. So um, if you use paint, make sure to let your painting dry fully. Um, and then um, if uh, you would like to return them um, in your um, return folder for the week, uh, we would love to put them up in our classroom because that's something that makes the classroom really special is when we get to put up your guys' artwork. And without your guys' artwork, our classrooms feel kind of sad. So. Um, so if you want to turn yours in, we would love to see them. Otherwise, um, have a parent take a picture of it, or you can take a picture of it yourself with your Chromebook and send it to us, um, but we would love to see your artwork. I hope you enjoyed your uh, your um, this art lesson. Please make sure that if you do use something like paint, that you make sure to clean up after yourself. Um, and uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Okay, bye.